Hi guys, welcome to the show. We are ending our Happy Mother's Day week. I'm so excited. We have an amazing, amazing guest. And guys, what are we doing for Mother's Day? Anyone? I don't have a mother, so I'm doing nothing. Sorry. Hello, wait, I hit where it hurts. Dang. She just said it in her time. Anyway, was... um, you are? Ella Wanjiro. <laughs> I'm Lydia KM. <laughs> I'm Dana DeGrazia. Wow, uh, that was awkward. Uh, my name is Monique Brett, and welcome to the show. It's Friday! Friday! What? We did Finally. it. It's been a long one. You know, it's, a lot can be said about celebrating mothers, but what the mothers have to really go through, like getting ready for a show like this, <laughs> that is something. Mm -hmm. I have a Mother's Day story, which is going to make everyone happy. So today my mom called me, I told Dana already, mm -hmm. and as soon as I picked up the phone, she said, you know you're my best friend. Oh, that is really sweet. Hey, that is not the reaction my mother would have had. Yeah. <laughs> my mom's not like that. Yeah. <sighs> Well, we've got a great show lined up, including a special guest. As we still continue to celebrate Mother's Day week, make sure you're on the hashtag Let's Talk and get on every single platform because you know what? This is the show that you need. Shout we've out to Prison. prison. <laughs> yes, shout out Committee Prison. Thank you for watching. We just figured out that you were, and it is absolutely now time for Hot Talk. Mm. Come and take a seat, girl. This is what you need. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's, Let's talk. talk. Well, we're starting off the show on a sad note. We want to pass on our condolences right here on the table. Uh, the story broke out of the Sulai Dam collapse, a tragedy that occurred that about 45 people um, up to date have lost their lives. We'd like to pass our condolences for that. I know investigations are underway mm -hmm. and a lot of speculations are going around over, all over the internet. But for us, we just really want to you know, say we are praying with you. Um, shout out to everyone who is praying with you as well. And uh, the support team that is on the ground as we speak, the reporters, the journalists that are, you know, putting their lives at risk as, as well, just to be there to bring you up-to-date stories. So make sure you catch the news at 7 p.m. right here on Ebro TV for more details on that story. Very sad. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Can I make you happy? Yes. Okay. Back over there. I love this girl. As it honestly, by the Akoze gives me life. So, uh, this girl creeps in. Please come to the show and you actually have the chance, honey. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so this girl actually goes on Akoze's page and asks, how do you actually manage to land these rich men? Like, okay, zero chills. The formula is the same. <laughs> the same way you land that broke guy. <laughs> That's men how I land men. the rich man. Hold on, there's receipts. Me, I love her, I love her, I love her. So, Akoze responded. So the question was, how do you get the rich men you have? And she responded to the girl, the same, same way you get the poor ones. There is no formula. Drops mic, the end. I told you guys she has no chills. I am kind of scared of her, and I don't want to say anything bad, but no chills. That's all I have to say. Akode. And you know the worst thing is, like, Akode started this conversation with given the chance to meet me today, what should you ask me? Mm. Then this, as it, do you even know who you're addressing? Because I feel like, Honestly, you should know who you're addressing. What you go in, Monique, the way I address you is not the way I address Lydia. It's not the way I'll address Dana. This is not how to address her, because they, what were you expecting, a hug? Yeah, she wasn't going to say I anything. I feel the it. exact opposite. I feel like you opened yourself up for these questions. You know you're in the limelight. You know who you are to society as that woman with the comebacks. I'm kind of like, I'm over it. She asked you a question. You couldn't have just answered her. Like, I'm just like, not I about, also, I'm not I also feel it's two ways. Um, if you're going on someone's page to ask a question, but even, if, even, even yes. if she invited it, mm -hmm. she's not going to change who she is because of this particular question. Mm. Oh. It's several things happen on her page. Like it's, it's a, it's a, it's a TV show on, on her page. <laughs> so she's, she's just consistent with, you know, her personality and how she does her thing. That's how she does life. Um, she's the kind of person who would actually say that to your face. Like, yeah. there's no formula. Ooh. But I actually think it's just that because she comes off heavy-handed, mm -hmm. um, this is a good answer. Yeah, I feel this is a brilliant answer. I, I, I love it. it's a it. brilliant answer. It's because right, you know, it's correct, and uh, that's, just, that's, you know, for that kind no, of question. No, but you know one thing about it is... That's I the answer you get. Bigger faculty, because you know one thing about it is, honestly, you have answered a lot of my questions as well. <laughs> the same way that I land that rich nigger is the same way I land the broken. You know, it's <laughs> been a week, it's no been a week of laptops and whatnot, so... <laughs> I mean, men Bad. are going to be men. They're just going to, you know, infuse a little bit of their creativity mm -hmm. in it. And later on, we have a story to do with something like that. Speaking of, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited about this story. Maybe because I'm hoping to attract the energy of this. So there is this musician. His name is Ringtone. Dana loves that name, don't you? Oh, I'm just, I think it's so creative. 
So <laughs> he asked her, I have never actually seen you as so white as when he said, Oh Sarah my Taylor. god, I yeah. think she didn't mean it. Guys, did you pick the no, sarcasm? That was sarcasm. Yeah. All of it. Um, so basically, ringtone, he asks Zari and he proposes to her and essentially buys her a Range Rover. And most people thought it was a joke. Even me, I was like, oh, whatever. But he has actually bought the Range Rover and he's asking Zari, please come, let's do it. She's like, I don't know who he is, we've never met, this is weird and this is awkward. Please, ringtone, if you are sending out, ring you're sending out Range Rovers, hello. I'm here. I um, drive. I, I just, I'm I've just got something to say before we read the receipts. Uh -huh. um, your phone's not going to ring. No. Um, but I'm, she ain't going to call you. She's ring got ring yeah. job already. Um, but thing is, <laughs> he's going about this thing the wrong way, I think. He and has a I laptop, thought, honey. I, <laughs> His name laptop. Is ringtone. So it doesn't matter what he does. <laughs> Laptop, Range Rover. I think it's it's the holder of the package. Really, I, I don't think I don't see them. To, I just don't see them as no, an item. I don't. And mm -hmm. this is a major distraction from what she's here for. But anyway, we've got receipts. Right. He wrote, "Dear Zari, I know you're coming to Kenya anytime from now. I take this opportunity to welcome you to my beloved country. I checked and I realized that you were in church on Sunday, and I'm happy because it's only in Jesus." that you would not be hurt like Diamond did. I spoke about dragging people's business when you're proposing. That's another one. Um, <laughs> please, stay in please stay in church and in God. You recently posted on IG that you wanted a Range Rover. Okay, I take note and I want to let you, the world know today that I have bought you a brand new Range Rover Sport 2017 model. I'm sorry I know you wanted white, but I only managed bl a black one in color. Please arrange how to pick up your key before you leave. Okay. I, no. Yeah, hold on. No. I know it's not Thursday, oh, but can I gosh. please kindly be shady? Be shady. Because it's, I'm so sorry. You. This story screams shade. Mm -hmm. I feel like he leased it and he just put a, you know, like a paper on the number plate. Yeah, Zari. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And he's all over the place. He's getting <laughs> Monique, so he much bored. <laughs> attention. Seriously. He looks so, see, so I, I bored. Say, I say this all the time, and people who know me know boyish stuff. Mm. Boyish stuff is, is a total turn off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about what Zari's into, but I think he's going about it the wrong way. I do not foresee okay i do not foresee her going okay today um, she was see you soon today? listen she's here to do her charitable work yes she's here to do many mm -hmm. other things she's collaborating with other people ringtone you're a distraction you're you're just you're just an, you're so just and you're not hype. a welcome distraction is the thing she's <laughs> yes. not out there putting herself out there like somebody please come and hit on me like that's really not how she's living her life right now but it is a step you know Sure, this week, it's a little bit better than the laptop, but <gasps> yeah. still, no. But you couldn't it's even get working. her the color she wanted? <laughs> no, I mean, couldn't. if you're going to put in the effort, get her the color. And she's been with rich, <laughs> she's been with rich men. I yeah. think what she's looking for is like a little bit more particular than money. Can or, I, I tell you what's saying? Or, 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 or ringtone is, is, is trying to have he's, his name on this table. You're right, you're um, right. Yeah. Speaking of aspirations, mm -hmm. can we move on to the next story? It's really <laughs> amazing. Because speaking of people in love, and this is actual love, <laughs> <laughs> we're talking the royal wedding. Now, I am completely here. I support that relationship 100%. But what I don't support is an event that's being hosted that can cost per couple a million 1.1 one specific 100,000 shillings is not pocket change oh it's 1.1 you calculate you got no shillings now and, and let me tell you this is actually just to watch just to watch not to attend they, yeah not to attend not to fly you to the wedding this is just so you can come and show up and just watch it with you know your loved one and i don't get the point i don't get the hype of it i mean okay no. can someone <clears throat> tell me if someone took me on a 1.1 million shilling date, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know you'd give it. <laughs> you have, you're done. Ring. To watch someone else get married, and this is the same person who dragged me through the trenches for six years and not propose, mm. I would beat you silly. <laughs> <laughs> beat you. As in, I'm not a valid person. You've but never it seen would have kind of but, rubbing yeah. in their face. A, a dude is taking me to watch someone else get married, for 1.1 million, and you can't, pro you cannot propose to me. Hmm. Do you think they did their market research and there's actually an audience for this? Because yeah. I don't believe it. And number two, I'm not the kind of person to 
do extravagant things like that. It's mm -hmm. For me, it's aspirational, it's, it's superficial. Mm -hmm. But that's what marketing has done. They know that there's a middle class category that is all about being seen, being photographed, wanting yes. to be associated with the brand mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. I was there. Yeah. Wanting to actually be on a if helicopter. If you fall in this category, all right, to each their own, mine is make sure after the event is done, <laughs> you can promise your date, something close to what Harry's going to give Megan, or... <laughs> You see, you're going to be chauffeured there and whatnot, and it's a pick and drop, breakfast, brunch. I hope you, you're consistent with that kind of lifestyle that level. after that. Yeah. But I guess there's people like this, which to me, I'm learning. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just shocked mm -hmm. that there's, you know, for them to put up an event like this, they, 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 there's someone mm -hmm. they're talking to. Mm -hmm. I just don't get it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, have a great, I mean, if you're gonna be there, enjoy the royal wedding. I shall watch it yeah. streaming on Visa. Like that's, not to attend, yeah. but to be there and to, to rub it. shoulders with. That's why I'm even hesitant to say like where it's gonna be and what what's entailing it because I'm just thinking of like the average person. Because yeah, I don't look like the average Kenyan, <laughs> but I consider myself. I've been here long enough. I just don't see myself spending this much money making this event and then going back to my normal life. Yeah, my you darling, you also don't country. see yourself spending five, half a million in the club on a Friday. Mm -hmm. But trust Thank me, you. as she said, it's a middle class thing. People, I think, people, I think people are living are, on the people, fast lane. I people saw are really drop interested more. Hey, people are interested more how in they yes than by what other what they really and and you know yeah. um, brands have learned that brands right know that mm -hmm. there's someone who's actually going to come here. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. As long as you check in and you make the event successful because of your attendance, yeah, that's this all they care about. This is confident. Let's move on. Let's yeah. move. This is confident <laughs> marketing right here. They know you will pay. <laughs> all right. You know, early on we talked about ringtone and his phone not ringing. Well, you need to check your phone every time it rings and check the number that calls you. And, uh, of course, uh, be more specific when you're checking the area code, right? Because people are receiving international calls from unknown numbers. So... CCK is now warning Kenyans to be wary of such phone calls because sometimes, or it's most likely, uh, that the people that are calling you are actually cons. So they're siphoning your money off your phone, especially if your account is postpaid. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's postpaid, that is exactly how they're going to siphon your money. Yes. Crime has gone digital, and now CCK is, you know, being police and saying, you know what, be careful about that. I actually received a WhatsApp message from area code um, plus six something, and I know, no, 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 I do not know anyone from, from this particular place, so I just ignored it. But many times, you know, you feel like, let me just, yeah, let me just pick it up. Yeah. But I like that, you know, they're on it and they're informing people. Yeah. So um, I'm sure there's a couple of people watching the show right now, and they think I, I may I have come across talking. something what's, like what's this. What's interesting yeah. is that I feel like it sort of started with that stereotype from emails. And yeah. I almost feel bad saying it, but in, in, the, in the States, is that sort of like, oh, a Nigerian prince just needs to borrow, <laughs> needs to borrow some money from you, Justin. So Do it went from emails. fall for that? Yes, all the time. Let me tell you, Nigerian prince needs Nigerian. a <laughs> no, Can I tell you the one thing that I've seen? There's a meme going around the internet and the money was seized from a Nigerian guy. This guy has actually been trying to give away this money on the internet <laughs> and all that. of y'all have been... Ditching. Lydia, we have receipts. <laughs> Educate us. Uh, CA cautioned Kenyans against receiving numbers that bear the following international dining codes. Plus 41 Switzerland, what? Um, plus 963 Syria, plus 252 Somalia, plus 37 Latvia, among others. We are advising the public to not call back any international numbers they do not recognize and if one happens to fall victim, he or she should report the number to the service provider so that the numbers can be blocked. CA said in a statement. So let me apologize because Nigeria is a Nigeria was there for one. <laughs> Sorry guys. Thank you. We've technology has moved on yeah, to I different know, but I totally get your stereotype. You know you live in Nigeria Central. Nigerians are waiting for you to hit you. Like on the way home. <laughs> but um I actually but feel like this is like a me. good move. Yeah. I feel like it's a good move because um there's not a lot of accountability as far as CCK. We're very good at banning things and shunning things, but yeah. when it comes to you guys just doing your job, Helping which is to serve out. the people, mm -hmm. they haven't really been like the best. So I'm glad that today I can actually like... Thumbs up. You did something for yeah. me. I thank you for the information. I thank you for protecting yeah. me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Now, can I take you guys to the Mint Gala?
Yes, I'm Cause afraid. Because Dana looked like she dressed to go Dana. to the Met Gala. Oh. And then Kovar got lost and so ended up like on the show. So it's like she followed the theme, Heavenly Body. Uh, heavenly Body. I feel so hyped right now because <laughs> pretty ladies are calling me a pretty lady. And it's just a table full of pretty ladies. Uh, you look great today. Thank you. So do all of you. <laughs> this model used to be from Kakoma and then she actually moved to Australia. Mm-hmm. And she stole the show without a Becky. Ella, do you see yourself? Gorgeous. Oh, can I tell gorgeous. you what? She is absolutely stunning. That bone structure. Oh, my god. Everything gosh. about her is absolutely heavenly. But very few people can pull this look off. You know me, I, I'm a, I know I'm a pretty girl. But I know yes, things so. like this yes. are, are not, not really for you. Much. They're not for me. You're not ex- into the exotic vibe. And I'm sorry. I'm already, I'm already like between light skin and dark skin. You know, like I haven't chosen a struggle. So me, my balance helps me. But this girl like killed it. You know, stole the show without hair. And we're talking about people actually feeling um, treated by Lupita actually having braids. Mm-hmm. But her having her natural hair at such a big event and actually yes. shining the spotlight on. Because this reminds me of when I used to go to school. You know those lines that you used yes, to do? Yes, yes. No. And I like She's that she pulled it off and made it mm-hmm. avant-garde. I am so blessed to see this picture. And the thing is, I think she's beautiful. She's not beautiful in that when a really dark person goes to the West, she's beautiful. No, I think she's... <laughs> uh, no, it's true. You already know just what I'm talking it. about. Yes, it. but she's beautiful. Like, she's a beautiful girl. And then she did the lines which we used to do in school. You know, she didn't even complicate it and make it all, like, look at my hair. She just kept it simple and lines yeah. back. I'm yeah. here for it. She made it Gorgeous. About- being natural and beautiful yes. and also she made it about i feel like that yeah. garment is phenomenal and i really like and how black women are now it. rocking looks not because um you know a big label took on a certain look mm-hmm. but because you know what i can do this with my hair yes. Yeah. forever yes this is a great look you can also share on our social media platforms which looks you like at the met gala thank you so much for being part of the show we need to take a commercial break we'll be right back right here on let's talk Let's talk. Come and take a seat, girl. This is what you need. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's, Let's talk. talk. Let's talk. Come and take a seat, girl. This is what you need. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's, Let's talk. talk. Every time we're back after commercial, I feel like I could do this all over again. Yes. This right here is Let's Talk. Make sure you're on the hashtag Ibru Let's Talk. We've been celebrating moms, and today is no exception. We've got a fabulous mom mm-hmm. coming to join us right here on the table. So make sure you don't move. I hope you've got your cup of tea because we've got tea, and uh, we've got more coming your way. And uh, social media is one of those places where we usually get feedback for the show. Mm-hmm. It's been two weeks, girls, since you came um, on Let's Talk and joined oh. the table, oh right? My God. I know, I know. <laughs> um, um. And we're getting feedback left, right, and center. Oh, goodness. And not all of it is going to be rosy, right? right? True. But the beauty about that is that, sweetheart, whoever you are with your keyboard courage, you're still a, t- a statistic, and we thank you for watching. Yeah. We thank you for being here and you know sending us your feedback. <laughs> follow us on Instagram. Yeah, follow us on Instagram, <laughs> and make sure you catch the show on YouTube. I love that keyboard courage. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, the coolest thing that I read all right, about the season, the new season, mm-hmm. is when are the girls gonna go on location? Mm. Like, I yes. think that people wanna see like how tall Lydia is, how, <laughs> oh, goodness. how tall uh, Dana is, I'm or so sure. does Ella tall. dance? Is she into the twerkation and stuff uh, like that? Like, it's, it's interesting uh, things that you get to see as feedback mm-hmm. on okay. social media. Can I actually tell you one thing? Yes. On location here, trust me, it's coming. Mm-hmm. It's gotta come. Yeah, it has but, to. Girl, I know I talk nasty, but I'm still classy. I don't twerk. <laughs> Sorry, I had to tell you this. You had to I do like not that. twerk. Yeah. You don't? It's not classy. <laughs> yes. I'm about that boss And life. we also got a couple of Mother's Day messages coming through on Instagram. Uh, we got Jill, yes. uh, who was on our page yesterday. She loved Wahoo's interview so much Powerful. was just yeah. real and authentic mm-hmm. she connected with the audience yeah thank you so much for coming and of course uh no came here feisty <laughs> I, f- I felt like i could speak you for the rest of the <laughs> evening and uh, i also want to say happy birthday to my mom it's her birthday today happy birthday i have no mother but i was lying because i feel like you're a lot to me and oh. mommy is one of the titles that i have oh you. my god yeah. happy, happy celebrating <laughs> 
Happy Mother's Day! Tradition for oh my god, you guys! Oh, mm. I love you so much, honey. You're Aiko's big sister. <laughs> You're the firstborn. Oh. Aiko's number two, and now we've got a little a baby bet coming. Mm -hmm. A baby bet. <laughs> oh my I gosh. love it. This is so cute. I mean, I you know what that. yellow means? Yes. Yellow roses mean friendship, and I hope yes. we have that for a hell of a long time. Yes. I was gonna cry, I brought you a friend. but I'm yeah. saving that for our lovely guests. Yeah. Look at her! Could you stand there for a second? The hair, oh, the hair, the snatch waist, girl. Killing Stop. Them. You know Killing we snatch them. it. Oh, my <laughs> God, I love it. The mama's gotta <laughs> snatch it. Hello, girl. Hey, oh, it is the amazing, the multi-talented Wendy Kimani. <laughs> You guys don't understand. Like I watch you in Holland. What? <laughs> like, 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 oh, you're making oh, all the out. Next. That's yes. the coolest thing ever. I love this show. I was like, oh my god, our own like girl sort of foreign. <laughs> yes. What you see is what you get. And you came yes. with your filter all the way from Holland. Like you're looking <laughs> amazing. Oh my gosh, you've got the X it Pro and a work. little bit of a contour. Jeez. <laughs> it took a lot of work. You look fantastic. Congratulations. Love. Thank you. you know, I saw you on Instagram. I actually saw you on the, I told you on the yes. show, and I was like, oh, is that a bump? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, number two. Yeah. Are you going for number two? I don't know yet. He's just one. He's one. You never know. So, uh, I can't tell yes. you, you know, the space between me and my sister Fiona. Like, mm -hmm. mom was just uh, minding home business. <laughs> <laughs> and then Fiona <laughs> came. <laughs> I have a one very busy, busy guy. Mm -hmm. He loves to do everything. He's mm -hmm. it's it's like exhausting. Yes. But yeah. He's you know. never asking for a little baby sister, a little baby brother. Yeah, he's one, so he's enjoying his time, you know? He's exactly. Like, he likes being the center of attention. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so. That was what my sister was until I ruined it. But we're close now. It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everyone's it's happy. Close, you know? But yeah. Wendy, thank you so much for coming and for thank being for here. Thank you. Are you, you excited to be back home? I am so, so excited, guys. The last time I was home was 2016 when we did Gilad Live. Yes. That's the, yeah, that was the last time. I actually came just for that show. And then I got pregnant. In Nairobi? No. Okay. <laughs> I was like, hmm. <laughs> That's no. a safari vibe. <laughs> on, on location, <laughs> on location, baby making. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, and then I got pregnant and I couldn't fly. Yes. Uh, till, yeah. So mm -hmm. now I could fly to bring, I really wanted to bring him yes. to Kenya. Yes. You know, the first thing we did, I gave him Uji. That was a breakfast, the first day. <laughs> no. Nice. With a white flower? With a brown. The brown oh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. after you're total, that way. Busera, he busera. loved it. I was like, thank God you love it. So I'm trying everything with garlic, you know, party. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is your food. That you is know? so cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know everyone is itching to ask a question. I am. <laughs> I, I haven't heard your voice in ages, and I love the fact that the last time I actually saw you on YouTube, all you were was, here, this is how I handle my hair because my hair's not going to look nappy just because I live abroad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's the experience? How's the transition? Marriage, moving, everything. You kind of did like everything at once. Yes. Lord, it wasn't easy. It was not easy because I left and then Unajua sort of hit. Mm -hmm. And you know, you, when you're waiting for that time, yeah. Yeah, that's not when you want to leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Country, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So that was a bit heartbreaking, but also you have family. You know, there's two parts of your life. You have career and you have family, and so yeah. you have to you have to choose at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I went to Holland, and it was okay. A very smooth transition, I guess, because I visited a lot. Yes. Um, quickly, you know, everything worked out basically. Mm -hmm. um, but then I missed out on the singing. So, yeah. So I'm back, and I'm hoping that now that I'm here, mm -hmm. I really want to do a few things before I leave. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know what I love about her? She's got that face since Tusker Project fame. Mm -hmm. You could go for five years. You know, there's people who, I'm not going to mention names, but you could disappear in the industry for one year <laughs> and, and people forget you. <laughs> we don't even but remember Wendy, it. Wendy's the kind of girl who, like, people, you have such a memorable voice and a memorable oh, face and a memorable you. brand. Mm -hmm. I enjoy your page. I enjoy your music. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How do you manage to do that? What's your, what's your juju? 
I don't even know, honestly. I, the easiest thing is to be yourself. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And um, sometimes you're like, oh my God, I can't post that on the gram. You know, like, oh, <laughs> like God, I, I don't do that. Like, mm -hmm. But then the, sometimes, like, you know what? This It's real life. Mm -hmm. This is real life. So. I was, uh, there's a picture on Instagram where I'm like literally in just like pajamas with my baby on my back. Mm. And I just posted it because that's what was going on. You mm. know, I was like becoming a mom and yes. I just want to post what's real and and I guess people relate to that. Yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah, then it's easy. And I always reply to people who text me, you know, and yeah. we just talk and say, hey, okay, why not? Yeah. So, and you know, I like checking out all your pages, by the way, including yours, Dana. Oh, I thank you. Like, you've always done the whole serving face. Today, your hair is well, popping. Well, I try. You've got the heavenly body going. <laughs> I know you're also not shy with posting stuff on your page. I am not. I am not shy at all. And it's actually interesting that I'm sitting here with you because I feel like, I mean, there are people who are asking me about, like, oh, ask her about her hair, ask her about this. And I'm like, so I'm finally sitting at the table with a woman who's also into an in interracial marriage. Mm -hmm. And so it's interesting. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're both mixing I, it up. Yeah, we're both making beautiful little minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Your son is gorgeous, by the way. Oh, yeah. He's so gorgeous. Yeah. And oh. I guess I, I feel bad because I'm... I, I don't want to ask a superficial question or get too much in your personal business, mm -hmm. but... So when you first got together, did you feel there was a difference in your relationship versus being in a non-interracial relationship? Um, we, for me, uh, woof. I know, I'm it's sorry. It's heavy. It's a heavy question. Heavy. Yeah, Have some tea. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sipping uh, time. It wasn't very difficult because mm -hmm. he was very embracing of my Kenyan culture, culture mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was up for tasting anything, you know, the boozy on the side. The, <laughs> he was up for eating anything. So yeah. it, it didn't feel like, oh, this is culture shock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, on The little things are like when you go to his country, then mm -hmm. things are easy going here. So mm -hmm. it's easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also for him, the traffic, the slowness, the, you know, not keeping <gasps> time, things like this. Mm. Were like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Did people try to touch your hair? Yes. But I'm always like, first ask, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ask, then, you know. It is Ooh, I saw something that you actually hair. posted. <laughs> it's yeah. You're like, um, the, it's gorgeous. Your comment was, yeah. it was like the hardest countries to make friends. And like, you know, I'm an introvert anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. But the Netherlands? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you, you, uh, you, you, let me explain. Let please me tell do. You why. Please. This is a country with the most bipolar weather you have ever, ever experienced <laughs> in your life. Yeah. Mm. This, and I think with England, mm. like, it is. 25 degrees today and tomorrow it's Switch up. 9 degrees. Mm -hmm. It is so depressing. Mm -hmm. And when it's winter, literally the smiles just go like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it actually acts on your body, your mood. People get depressed. Mm -hmm. So Definitely. doctors had told me you need to up your vitamin D yeah. uh, pills. Yeah. Yeah. You know this, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, you, people think, oh, they're not friendly, but they're straight forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, don't come to my house because we hadn't prepared food. Uh, <laughs> and, and here you wouldn't wow. say yeah, that. Here you couldn't. But yeah. that is straightforward. It's not, no hard feelings. It's mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. You Which bring that up. Cool. <laughs> yeah, because that's kind of what my husband faced when we went to the States for a while. We went in the dead of winter. And I come from Chicago where it's freezing, Why freezing cold. Why would you cold. do that to him? I'm, you know, he made jokes. Because she's right there. He made SNM jokes Lydia. about walking outside in a t-shirt. And I'm like, you do that. You walk <laughs> outside in a t-shirt. But I'm sure you had to have faced shock going to that cold weather and going to an entirely different culture mm -hmm. you yes. stick out a lot yeah yes yes mm -hmm. it's uh, yeah of course things like that are difficult you know and you wonder like i mean what what do you do you just embrace because he also has to take mm -hmm. my sides you know when yeah. you see, i have to tell him dude don't rush <laughs> yeah you know, chill, Carry chill can, yeah. <laughs> yeah and there when i'm there mm. <laughs> He has to even lie to me. Yeah. It's fire. You have to leave. But you'll make such a, like, an amazing couple, guys. You like do. They, Power look, couple. Do you know the they look like so good. Me? I like how you call him Mavo. As in Mavo. He is the least white guy I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you make him black. He goes, he's like, yes, Emma. Do you speak Dutch? Because I'm sure he. Does he speak Swahili? Just words. You know, words here and there. You know, sometimes he goes to the supermarket and he'll be like, Ah, oh, Santi. You uh, guys, it's mm. harder. Rap it's hard. Swahili. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So between, you know, meeting him, mm -hmm. that was beautiful. You, I remember I 
vividly remember your wedding photos. They were mm -hmm. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then now you're a mom. Yes. Do you feel like a lot has changed in that period of time? A lot has changed. Um, I mean, I have to say that uh, when a baby comes into the picture, things get a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it's when I you think we need uh, I just, uh, it's, <laughs> Are you actually crying? No, I just feel tears come more often. Uh, maybe because I'm, yeah. I'm pregnant. It's I'm pregnant. Turning, it's you're turning for When you have your first child, those emotions just change and they're mm. never going to go back. Yeah. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> things can get difficult. It's like, it, it, it's baptism by fire, I have yeah. to say. Mm -hmm. There's no book you can read mm -hmm. to tell you how to deal together mm -hmm. and to attend to a baby and mm -hmm. to... And that was difficult. Mm -hmm. yeah. But thank God we talk a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we, we really talk a lot. And he's a listener, and that's mm -hmm. really good. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we go at it sometimes, like, yeah, but you didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. And he allows you to be yeah. that. Yeah. And then, yes, again, yeah, but we also, then we also go, you know what? Mm -hmm. I get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And thank God we get to that. I get it. So I'm going to do this on mm -hmm. my part. And I'm going to, yeah. And it's it's worked out, actually. Mm -hmm. It's getting easier. Mm -hmm. And you said, um, yeah. you said that, like, at one point, you had to, you know, baby or career. Yeah. And a lot of women get a lot of pressure about that. Like, you know, tick, tick, talk, there's time or whatever you have to choose. Yeah. What advice would you give to someone who wants to embark on, like, an amazing career in music or acting? but also wants to start a family. How do you balance the two? Wait. Oh. Oh. I would tell them. Let me tell you something. Oh I'm God, sorry. You scared me. No, no, no. Oh Somebody <laughs> got into my DM uh -huh. and asked me, mm -hmm. so you just released a song mm -hmm. and you just announced your pregnancy on, on, on Instagram. <gasps> I said, I am a fantastic being made by God. Superwoman. The same way you've got these 10 fingers is the same way you can do many things at the yes. same time. Mm -hmm. And that question, I am so tired of it. Yeah. Wendy, that was your question. <laughs> I feel, I feel, you I know, feel. You know what? I, let me gonna, I'm going to add to that mm -hmm. because a friend of mine, mm -hmm. I was talking to her, mm -hmm. thank God. I called her when things were so like, uh, you know, you don't have help in Holland. Yeah. So it's you and your baby. Yeah. And it can get overwhelming. So I used to call her and I'm like, this is normal. Like, why am I feeling like, like, like I'm a loser? Mm -hmm. Like I've lost my career. Yeah. And yeah. she's like, look, you, this is important. Mm -hmm. It's one year. Mm -hmm. One year is what the babies really need, like really, really. Yeah. Need a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's the problem? You just come back, you do a few things, and you're back. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a big deal. Mm -hmm. That is a brilliant, and she told brilliant me, This answer. is modern women syndrome. Yes. And because you're just like, I need to do it because everyone is doing it. Mm -hmm. like, no. Mm -hmm. Some people might take longer, some mm -hmm. people will take less time, and it's fine. Take your it's time. It's fine. Mm -hmm. You have your whole life. I mean, how many years do we live? Your whole life, mm. people are doing things in their 40s, in their 50s, in their mm -hmm. 60s. And we're designed to repair, by the way. Yeah. If, yeah. You're, if you're scared mm -hmm. and so, you're thinking, yeah. how am I going to do this? Uh, yeah. I think yes. with your, the first child, mm -hmm. you feel like, okay, I'm overwhelmed and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then I think God gives you grace and maturity to handle things the way they come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And honestly, Instagram is for photos, not really for other people's validation. No. I'm not posting really for that. Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking about how am I going to do this? And you're questioning. Mm -hmm. A lot of women today, mm -hmm. believe it or not, mm -hmm. would rather put family on hold mm -hmm. and every other thing on hold mm -hmm. to pursue something that is almost elusive. You may never really know yeah, how true. music is going to go. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't know how the business is going to go, but no. one thing that's constant is family. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm sorry if I got in with that. It just <laughs> reminded me of this one question. Lydia was like, whoo. I was like, what, what oh, have I said? Coming. What <laughs> I, said? I, was, I was like, I, okay, I, hold on, I did I miss like, the brief? Are we pranking no. her? Me, that's <laughs> what I said. I was like, are we going to get up, all of us? <laughs> yeah. Wait, you know, emotions all over the place. And mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think the realest thing about this show is mm -hmm. I did have moments where I was like, am I going to go and manage to do the show? Uh -huh. I'm going to be real with you. Mm. Or am I, I going to be able to drive? Am mm. I, little things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then I remembered that I'm setting an example for two little humans mm -hmm. to show them that, you know what? You can this is it. a season. Yeah. Yeah. A beautiful season mm -hmm. at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you see Wendy's hair flourishing <laughs> and thriving, yes. you're like, that's another bonus of... <laughs> But Carrying a little one. <laughs> yeah. But I hope to be as successful as your hair. I swear. I, I remember. I remember I relaxed hair, Wendy. 
Then I'm like going to go natural, eyes. Wendy. I love then it. Then I'm fighting with my hair, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> it's come, it's come a beautiful way. Let me, I went natural because I was like, if I, if I was to have a girl, mm -hmm. and then she's like, come on, I want to straighten my hair because everybody is, you know, very in a culture of straight mm. hair. Yeah. What am I going to tell her? It's true. No, yeah. should, you have beautiful hair, mm. yet I have straight hair. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. To be an example. Love that. Plus it's expensive. Is this, is this all you are? <laughs> <laughs> is, is it all, is it I, all I yours? This is all me. I feel oh, like I'm, I feel like I'm this, going um, a little like I white girl crazy this. about it. But the edges. <laughs> it is. It doesn't have to be tight. Mm -hmm. This is done with mm -hmm. gel. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, it looks tight, but mm -hmm. it's not tight. And your YouTube channel obviously stopped because I saw this hair and I was like, okay, go check. What, are you I just gonna do more? That's, yeah. That was my first mm. one, but now when you're with a baby, who's like, hey, yeah. interrupting you? <laughs> trying to pull out sockets. Is it gonna be like shoes. just um, <laughs> natural <laughs> hair things no, 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 or your life? Everything. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a lot about Wendy abroad. You know, Wendy's as I call it, Wendy's new normal. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's on YouTube. Yeah. So it's everything people are curious about. You know, mm. how is how does this work in Holland? Mm. How does you know mm. how do you adjust? And mm. So I'm gonna do motherhood and mm. hair and. Mm. You know, just little things and yeah. also stuff that I'm doing. Oh, you make it look hot. Okay. Den yeah. Dennis even thinking. I, I, I just want to Dennis just be a more natural African I'm right now. Like, I can see, I can see. No, what's you. funny is I, I, the thought that's popped into my head is kept being like, this woman is telling my story. Because immediately, whenever I come to the conversation of if I have a little girl, because I know that she will be mixed race, I'm like, she's going to have natural hair. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do with it because I have no idea what to do with my hair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no but way. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it's going to be wonderful because I guess now you're literally, your life is maybe two or three years ahead of mine. So what is your parenting journey like going yeah. from what you said of being so frustrated and what is it now? Well, to be honest, I feel feel like I really was deep into postpartum depression, like oh. really, really deep. Mm -hmm. And I, I just, I didn't know. And people, and you read and say, don't be ashamed, talk and mm -hmm. say it. Mm -hmm. But at the time I was like, yeah, but I don't want people to pity me. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I was really deep into it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like out of it, now I can say something. Mm -hmm. Then I just, even if I spoke out, I felt like people are like, Mm. Yeah. So that's also oh, shit. Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. That, like, you know, doing just, it for that. Because it's so common. I spoke to a friend of mine who really knows me. So mm. for her, I didn't I didn't have to think, what is she thinking? You know, with mm. new people, you're like, what are they thinking? Yeah. But with her, I know. What she's saying is exactly what she's thinking. Yeah. So it was easy. Mm -hmm. And we spoke about it. And she was just like, look, mm -hmm. this is fine. Wake up, do this, you know, meditate. Mm -hmm. I had to, I was like, wake up, take a shower before the baby does anything. Mm -hmm. Just take that shower yeah. mm -hmm. and then go on. It's Meditate like three minutes. Mm -hmm. And that actually helped. Mm -hmm. And I just, I'd have to say I became a mom when he was seven months old. Yeah. That's when you're like, I, I feel this is now natural. Mm -hmm. People don't talk about it. It yeah, is a do. fight of the girl you used to be and mm -hmm. this woman who's sort of coming out. Yeah. And it's so like, what is happening? Exactly. I said, like, why can't I just go and... Mm -hmm. I don't so know whether yeah. to be motivated or terrified. Mm -hmm. it, but no, <laughs> but the thing is, it, not everybody gets it, but if mm -hmm. you do, mm -hmm. talk to the closest people to you, mm -hmm. and especially women who've had kids, mm -hmm. then they'll understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And slowly you will get out of it. Get out, do stuff, even mm -hmm. when it's like, you feel anxiety inside. Mm -hmm. Like for me, going to the shop mm -hmm. was like, I'm gonna explode. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. But I, I got out, met, met like some mama, mamas from you know the experts mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. and it's nice. It's really great. Mm -hmm. And I slowly came out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some people yeah. are um, sometimes afraid to first of all come out and speak about it. Number one, yeah. number two, go maybe to a doctor or something to be yeah. labeled. Also, you know, more, yeah. yeah. Would you advise people to yes. seek medical help? Yeah, please seek medical because you also don't know how deep you are into this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. some cases are like extreme. You yes. know, yes. Mm -hmm. where you, you feel you could be, you want to harm the baby. Mm -hmm. Some are not. Mine wasn't, it wasn't really, I want to harm the Extreme, baby. Yeah. But I felt guilty that I brought him into this world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I absolutely felt guilty of mm -hmm. bringing him into this sick world. That's mm -hmm. how I felt. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. I was like, why would I bring this perfect little thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when it's really small, it looks so helpless. Mm -hmm. It's like, why? What was yeah. I thinking? Yeah. And then. And then he gets bigger, mm -hmm. and then he gets stronger, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and then they smile back at you. They smile back at you, and then you're like, okay, they know yeah. me. And you try to grab <laughs> his name, and he's like, no. 
Mm. Like, this is a guy with a you know, yeah, yeah. He can a personality. Mm -hmm. And he, tell, he, it's like he's telling you, I'm, I'm going to be fine, mommy. Mm -hmm. Like, I got this. And like, if you're talking seven this, months you know? of, yeah. give me tips of to starting strong. to be yeah. a mom, mm -hmm. seven yeah. months is, is, is like deep into it because um, in Kenya, I don't know about uh, Holland, yeah. maternity leave is three months. Three months. Mm -hmm. If you're lucky, you can add on your annual and get four. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a really good boss who just who was like, okay, how are you feeling? Mm -hmm. But I remember the first day I went to work, my guilt was, I've just left are you really, human. are they going to mm -hmm. take care of you the way I would? Mine was always a high horse kind of thing, and it's something I'm working on, mm. because I always felt like nobody can take care of her. Can but I knock you off? can. Don't can I knock you off your high horse? I know. Nobody can. I gotta knock you off your high horse. <laughs> <laughs> what do you I'm knocking you off your high horse. <laughs> Guess what? It's time I get to torture them. <laughs> Game time. <laughs> <laughs> Come and take a seat, girl. This is what you need. Let's start. Let's start. Let's, Let's start. start. You know, I love how these women sit here and pretend to be smarter than a oh, fifth wow. grader, and I'm not really sure they are. <laughs> Ella, I want to see the labor ward, okay? Have you seen her hair? She's a genius. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, today I actually came up with something that I used to love so much in school, a spelling bee. Have you oh, been in a spelling bee before? Are you good at spelling? No. We have one. We're going to actually no. see who slept through English class and who didn't. Oh, <clears throat> God. <clears throat> Are you ready? I'm tearing I want to start. Because <laughs> <laughs> mommy brain has not left me. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Okay, I'm hold on. He's one. You, no, don't you, you, you don't get to use that. You don't get to use that. Can I tell you what? I feel, I feel you can still season. spell. I'm all over the place. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Wendy, this is a useless talent. Would you like to pick a partner? Trust me. You got to pick one. Oh, Lord. Um... Let me pick Africa Monique. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Mommy, team, yeah, yeah, team, mommy. Yeah, team, 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 a N C E Macy. No, E M A N. <laughs> Did they have all this time? C I T <coughs> Time out. P A S S. I wish I had a bell. Okay. Are we spelling the same word? Spell Do we go back to the, the same word? Mm -hmm. Yes. Word. Okay, um E M Yes. A Yes. C Yes. I A T E D. Ah, and those are people who went to good schools. No! Yes. <laughs> English is supposed to be my first and only language. Okay, fine. <laughs> Monique. Yeah. Team, team mommy. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Cemetery. Oh, oh really? On. That's wow. S Y double M E T R Y. Okay. I'll accept it. Yeah. Is it symmetry or cemetery? C Cemet Wait, symmetry. symmetry. Like, I said symmetry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it the burial or the what? math one? Burial. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, burial. Uh, C E M E T R Y. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that means Let's take this thing. Uh, Are you ready? <laughs> the brain's still working. Fatigue. Fatigue. Yeah. F A T I G U E. Boom. Yeah. Something at least. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> uh, Even I can't pronounce that. If you, if you, if you can't Accommodate. pronounce it, don't spell it. <laughs> what? Accommodate. Accommodate. Might me? Yes. A double C O M O D A T E D. Girl, this is why you're doing my SMS. We're trying. Also, so excited for spelling. <laughs> okay, fine. Recognizance. Ella, you need to pronounce well. Which, <laughs> country, which country are you from in the, with this word? I'm from Kiambu County. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> say it like Kiambu, so we know what to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, let me just pick something else. Uh, deductible. Deductible. Mm -hmm. D E D mm -hmm. U mm -hmm. C mm -hmm. T A B L E. You nearly got it. It was T I. Oh, oh. B L E. I was I with you though. Yeah, I was with you. I was so, it's I not I was that. Dying. It's not. Hold up. How did you? Deductible or deductible? 
able to be deductible. Charismatic. But no engage can body can touch you. No, we tell you what. Criticize my pronunciation of this. Charismatic. Who is this one for? It's because you decided you don't know how to spell it. Would you like charismatic? Charismatic. When it describes you, so I feel like it's only right. Yeah. Thank you for that. I only do. C H A. Yes. I. Yes. S. Yes. M. A. T I C. Yeah. And oh Lordy Lord. I'm sorry. I'm. Can I pick a winner? Yes. Please. Can I pick a winner? I feel like Team Mommy has won, and it's not because I don't like you other people. Wow. Other people. We are <laughs> the people. people. We are the people. We need now. to it's change the mommies that figure and of the speech. others. It's it works. Mommy brain is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, can I ask you one thing? <laughs> I swear, this is why, this is why we are not take your kids to good schools, because you can see your good schools wow. are reflecting. Wow. <laughs> Mom. You know, you know, you know, you know what my That's mom Ella. always says. My mom always says, "Before you have kids, mm -hmm. leave people's kids alone. Mm -hmm. Don't even <laughs> contribute to that okay, conversation. Fine. You yes. have nothing that you're saying. Okay. We're people's kids. But We've there's something when he has to, to do others. for us. Mm -hmm. You gotta okay. sing. You have to sing for us. Okay. What would you like me to sing? Anything. God, that's when my brain goes blank. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I'm just nothing. Please tell me something to sing. Um. I see the stars above. You were the night sky. Oh. I see the winds that fly to the sky. You were the blowing wind. Yeah. You were the only touch that renders me all useless yeah the man almighty made only just for me yeah. hush up and be hey, my every desire i want to be your every power Hush up and be my every desire. I want to feel your every power. Oh! Ah. Oh, 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 my God. That's, oh. My boy. that's about what? him. That that's what I was going to say. Oh, oh, my God. I'm so jealous. <laughs> you deserve <laughs> that. No, hey, and you look great brother. with those flowers, by the way. They oh, my God. They nerd. You oh, yeah. sign. We still what? got it. We you still, still got, got it. it. Mama can I say serve. I know Monique from like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> so long ago. Like when she was singing with, should I say? Yes. Diana. <laughs> <laughs> and they were called Hot. In a girl group. Like that's a long oh, time. We need to do a I flashback. And to see, and to see that, you know what? Baby's popping, repairing. Exchanging bouquets and stuff mm -hmm. and chatting away about life. I am proud of you. Mm -hmm. And thank you for the exclusive interview right here on Let's Talk. Thank and you for Ella coming. Also, I'd have to say, I met Ella, we've sung together a lot. Yes, we have. We need you to do karaoke yeah. one of these So nice days. to meet both of you. Oh, so wonderful. <laughs> How long have you been here? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, happy thank Mother's Day, my darling. Thank you, thank you so and much. And thank you so much for actually opening up and telling people that it's not automatically easy because people come no. and tell us a beautiful journey, mm -hmm. yes. but no one actually gets real with it. And I yes. feel like, I, how she said, I don't know whether to be petrified or excited. Me but too. I love don't that you're sharing your journey. Because when you're out of that muff, I don't yeah. know what to call it. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And experiences are different. Yeah. Our yes. experiences are not the experiences. No. Everyone is going to have their own journey. Yeah. But the coolest thing about this show is there's chit chat, there's tea, there's mm. performances, there's flowers, there's love. There's spelling. Guys, I don't want to leave this table. Oh, no. no. And then it's going to be such a long week until Wednesday. <laughs> it's cold outside. Oh, you guys, it's so warm. Oh, <laughs> of course, yeah. Compared to what you've been through. Yes. yes. yes.
Thank you so much for hanging out with us. It has been a fantastic show. We don't want Wendy to leave. Mm -hmm. Well, if you've enjoyed every piece of this or um, the Mother's Day special that we had running since Wednesday, all you need to do is check us out on YouTube. It has been fun. My name is Monique Betts. My name is Lady KM. My name is Dana DeGrazia. My name is Ellen Jero. <laughs> Sorry, I had tea in my mouth. And we were hanging out with Wendy Kimani.